Fan Fam. Fan Fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is David, and we're in Massachusetts, Worcester. Right. And we just pulled up to the plant ward, and um. And I just got yelled at by a guy who was in the wrong lane because I was okay. trying to get into his lane. Well, we're in Massachusetts. We're in Massachusetts. So, let's go and see what they have because. They, they changed the place up. I'm not going to show you like every single plant and every single price, but while we are here, I'm going to just give you a quick little peek at what she's got going on in there. And we just got back from Funky Crystals. No, Funky, funky stuff. stuff. Funky I stuff. can never get it right because yeah. their Instagram name is just Funky Crystals. Okay, right. Funky Stuff. And I can show you that footage after this and then, um, I don't know, show you what I got. Okay? Okay, let's go look at plants now. Okay. Okay, fam. So here we are at the plant ward in Worcester, Massachusetts, but you knew that already. And as soon as you walk in, they have this absolutely stunning Epipremnum Panatum Albo Variegated. They had lots of really nice alocasias. I am going to be showing you the names and the prices of everything on screen. So I'm not going to go through every single plant with you, but I'm not going to lie. It felt weird not like speaking at all the whole time in this video so voice over jackie coming at you we are gonna take a quick peek at what is going on at the plant ward okay so this syngonium three kings is really stinking cute i'm not gonna lie i have like a love-hate relationship with syngoniums so i've just kind of low-key been waiting for that one to be a little bit more affordable some philodendron jose for 125 these really cute little baby ficus shiverianas are 48 i've been seeing these pop up a lot and i highly recommend them this is an anthurium crystal times pink something or did that say pterodactyl i think it said pterodactyl i just can't read but it's fine i'm not much of an anthurium person i apologize so i don't really know a lot of the names of these this is the bessier or affinity bessier super cute i think this is the silver blush for 55 i do have that one because i'm a sucker for a silver leaf this is the mature form of the philodendron lupinum for 90 dollars and then they had this one over here that i can never pronounce some people call it a tattoo plant, Sir Crestic, Sir, Cre I don't know, Mirabilis, Mirabalis, I don't know. It's, it's too much for my, my brain to compute. <laughs> so cute little baby philodendron varicosum hanging out over here for $38. Not a bad deal on that one. Lots of silver swords. You've got your white princesses, your white wizards, all that jazz some philodendron burl marks hanging out over here and the stunning monstera peru variegated with some new growth on it this is only 150 the prices are definitely coming down on these and uh yeah that's a tempting purchase if i didn't hate how slow peru grew i would probably have snagged one already this is the variegated epipremnum amplissimum super underrated plant in my opinion i think it's really gorgeous and then they had some cute little baby ring of fire philodendron a, a definite like crowd favorite in my opinion i see people asking for them all the time absolutely stunning philodendron florida beauty here for 250 really nice mature leaves and some really gorgeous variegation on these they did have a new little setup over here looking super cute with all their merch and this philodendron patricia one of my favorites definitely can't go wrong with a strappy long philodendron just saying hi to little fishies over here <laughs> And this gorgeous philodendron Adabat Poensi that hangs out over there. They did have some variegated Kentiana. Nice full hanging basket of that Hoya. And then a big huge basket of Hoya Retusa as well hanging out here. 
There's also this gorgeous philodendron Brazil I had to show you growing up a pole. And then of course there's lots of baby ones, some micans for 15. You've got all of your usual pothos and syndapsis hanging out over here. Although these mandula were super highly variegated and absolutely gorgeous. So there is that. And I've been seeing the syndapsis trubii dark form pop up for really cheap. 37 bucks for this plant would have been like at least a hundred a year ago, which is kind of crazy. So if you've been wanting one, they're definitely being mass produced now and they've come way down in price, which is nice. So we've got all of your prayer plants over here. I skipped over some beautiful yellow fusion. I apologize. <laughs> and we're checking out this cute Adansonii. You guys know how much I love Adansonii for $15. Some begonias over here. And then this weirdo caught my eye because I've never seen it before. So obviously I had to figure it out. Um, I just showed you the name. I'm not going to try and say it, but it is pretty stinking cute. You've got a shelf over here filled with some peperomias. This caparato was pretty cute. I like the colors on it. And then there was my favorite over here, the Peperomia Incana for $18. Nice fuzzy leaves. That one is a little bit harder to come by, even though it's not a pricey plant. It's just not one that I normally see. So I'm happy to see it here. And then I'm just appreciating some of the cute little Ripsalis varieties over here, wondering if I have all of them because I genuinely don't know. I have quite a few different Ripsalis varieties and they're all really cute and really really underrated in my opinion. These little baby philodendron painted ladies for $13 are the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely love a painted lady, super underrated philodendron in my opinion. And then we have the Hoyas. You guys know how much I love Hoya. This Hoya Callista Philo is only $60. Really amazing price on this. I think it had like 10 leaves, which is an absolute steal. And highly recommend somebody come and buy this because that that is a steal, girl. Absolute steal. Some Caudata Sumatra hanging out over here. And then I was drawn to this Hoya and Glariana for, did that say 48? The little leaves on this are so stinking cute and I was tempted to get it, but I wasn't supposed to buy anything this day, so like I didn't. But here's the thing. I was supposed to trade with this girl and she was going to send me cuttings of that Hoya. I sent out her plants like two months ago and she never sent me mine, <laughs> so I don't, I don't think that I'm going to ever get those cuttings, so I should probably just buy the plant. Hopefully, maybe she'll still have one for me the next time I'm up here for a visit. So, some cute little lipstick plants hanging out up here. This variegated one I thought was really cute. It looks kind of like frosty, which is interesting. Different type of variegation than the one that I have. I thought this jewel orchid was really pretty and I probably should have bought it because I killed mine. <laughs> When I was really sick for a few weeks, you guys, I had a hard time watering my plants up in the greenhouse because I didn't want to climb up there and a few of my baby plants that were in moss didn't make it because the moss got really, really dry. So it happens. They also have lots of really nice pots here. All of the pest products that you could possibly need, lots of different fertilizers and my favorite section in the back the discount shelf so or the clearance shelf so you can always find some cute little rehab babies back here you never know what gems you might find and uh some philodendron billies over here for 60 bucks i think that's a totally fair price for the size of this plant and um that's the plant ward looking super cute so our next stop here is funky stuff they sell crystals and stones and all that good stuff. I had a gift card that I, I won a contest that they were doing on Instagram. So I won a $25 gift card and this place came very highly recommended. So I wanted to check it out. 
So I was definitely not disappointed upon walking in here with the amount of stuff that they had. And another thing that I really enjoyed about this shop was everything is labeled. So there is no question on like what the crystal is because a lot of the shops that I've been to didn't like exclusively just sell crystals. So they don't always tend to label them what they are. And I don't always necessarily know what they are. So it is nice to be somewhere where they have everything laid out for you really nice and organized. And I was obsessed with this aura, quartz, amethyst, whatever. Absolutely stunning. Look at this cathedral. The only thing that I don't love about these cathedrals is that they um, coat them in cement. I prefer just like a raw crystal that hasn't been tampered with so I get that like it makes it look cleaner I suppose but it makes it look unnatural to me and I don't like it so that is just my personal opinion these desert rows were super cute and I am probably just gonna shush and let you guys enjoy some music and check out the crystals that they had in here and I will see you at the end of this video and show you what we ended up picking out. So I hope that you enjoy it. Okay fam, so we're back home, well just me, David's in the other room, and um, we had a nice day. So I got what he's calling a, a rock, which is rude, because it's prettier than just a rock. And I forget what it's called, do you remember what it's called? 
Look at how shiny it is. How can you say this is just a rock? Oh, it says it on here. Aragonite. Aragon. Aragon. Are you gonna? Aragon. Have another rock. Cluster. Aragonite. A grade. It says you picked an A grade. Oh, I picked. Look at how sparkly it is on camera. It is super sparkly on camera. Um. So yeah, I had a gift card. It was forty dollars. I had twenty five dollar gift card, and I'm not mad about it. And we had some food. We did. It was good. It was really good. What did you have? Noodles? Udon noodles. Udon. Yeah, that and was we went to the plant ward and everything was good. It was a nice day. Yeah, a nice day out. So you should give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with us. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. That's aggressive and unnecessary. <laughs> Whatever. Um, if not, there's a super thanks button if you want to uh, super thanks me. And uh, yeah, this is really pretty. You picked a good one, boo. Yeah, it's a nice rock. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what you learned about it? You... It's a rock. <laughs> you said you looked at it. Right, up. no, I did. I looked at the thing, and it was there's something like it, it forms as part of a geological process and stuff like most rocks too. and yeah but also because of something that has to do with salt water and fresh water mixing and oh. like doing things i don't know it looks like a brown barnacle that's cool so and i like barnacles <laughs> you're a barnacle barnacle guy anyway barnacle we're gonna Bill. go um i love you fam and i hope i see you in the next one okay bye i was bye. leaning on your arm and then you moved it <laughs>